Hi, this is Don, and I just wanted to remind everyone of how quickly and easily you can solve z-score and percentile score questions using StatCrunch. Now, it is true that the way we have set up uh, our quizzes and exams in my stat lab, uh, you you can't get the embedded link to StatCrunch um, directly. But remember, because you have an access code to my stat lab, that gives you access to StatCrunch at StatCrunch.com. You just sign in there and open up StatCrunch, and then you can have that in one window while you have your quiz or exam in another window and uh, jump back and forth. I'll just show you here. Um, we have a question. We're given that the mean and standard deviation for a statistics test and a biology test and the way that's written you can take that to mean uh, to understand that these are the population um, means and deviations and the question is a uh, student gets a grade on the, the statistics test and another grade on biology test and we need to transform those uh, scores to z-scores and then use the z-scores to decide which test on which test did the student have the better score okay let's start and I'm gonna bring up uh, stat crunch I already had it open and again reminding you you can just go to statcrunch.com sign in and, and then open up stat crunch um, I like to use the stat crunch calculators for these kinds of questions and remember we've got a number of different distributions we can use and the calculators are similar and, and do a similar thing in this case since we're given uh, we want z-scores that means we're going to use the normal curve and one of the things I really like about using StatCrunch is that we have this interactive sketch uh, it's just in, in for, for my experience drawing the sketch is, is very important to understanding the situation described in the problem and making sure you get the right sign for, for Z and the right uh, per percentile when you're doing percentile problems. In this case, um, the, you know, the calculator comes up with the default normal standard normal curve, which is a mean of zero and standard deviation of one. But we are going to use just the normal distribution and we want to put in our mean of 61 and our standard deviation for the statistics test of 6 and our score is 74 and I'm just going to leave it the greater than or equal to because we want to know everything to the left of that score and I click on compute and I get my sketch and it shows that that score is on the right side of the mean. The mean, remember, was 61. We're on the right side, which means we've got a, an excellent score. Matter of fact, it's the 98th percentile. 98% of students made a lower score than, than our uh, student did on this test. Now, we want to convert that to Z-score. And, and the way I do that, I just highlight the percentage, the probability, and use control C to copy it and then I go back in and I put in my standard normal curve mean and standard deviation I'm going to use control V Victor to paste that probability back in and click on compute we've got our sketch again that shows it's everything to the left of that score because we've got such a a very good score and it shows us that the Z um, score for that test score of the student is 2.17 so that's quick and that is the, the correct answer let's look at the biology test and we just go back again the biology test mean was 24 the standard deviation 3.9 um, the score that the student got was 29 and we click on compute we get our sketch again showing that this score
score of 29 is on the right side of the mean, which means it's a good score. And it's a uh, 90th percentile score. 90% of the students made lower scores than our student. So we do the same thing. We're going to highlight that percentile, control C, control Charlie, to copy it. I'm going to go back to the standard normal curve, mean of zero, standard deviation of one, control Victor to paste that probability back in, click on compute, we've got our sketch again, and we see that that score, equivalent Z score, is 1.28. So really that's, that's all you have to do to, to calculate these scores. And of course the answer to the final part is, well, which tests uh, did the student do better on? All you have to do is compare the Z-scores. Um, the student had a higher Z-score on the statistics test, which means that's a better score than the test, the score on the biology test. So I hope this helps.